Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson in this Tosca automation playlist. Today we are going to talk about the dynamic data expressions which are present in Tosca and how you can use them in several scenarios where you need to perform some date calculations. So let's look at one such field. Now I am in the Tracentis vehicle uh, demo application and here you can see we need to enter some start date here, right? And enter product data screen. Now I have entered one date here, uh, which is the starting date for this year, but it gives an error message saying it must be more than one month in the future, right? So this date should always be one month more than the current date, okay? So if I calculate the date, okay, it should be something like 17, 10, 2023 or uh, 11, 2023, okay? Also, uh, it accepts the date in the MMDDYY format. And that's why this error was still coming because I have entered it in the wrong format. So I need to make it 11, 17, and then 2023, okay? So now uh, the date is validated and it's correct. Now, in these type of scenarios, you cannot just enter any particular date you have to enter a date which satisfies this condition which is mentioned for this particular field. And even though you have uh, stored some dates, like some sample dates in your test sheet, and you try to enter it into this particular field, it might work on that same day, but it may not work the next day because the calculation would go wrong, right? So this kind of test data cannot be uh, static in nature. So you cannot store static test data. It has to be dynamic in nature. So you need to put some calculation before you enter something in this particular field. So let's see how we can use the dynamic data expression in this particular case and how we can perform this calculation where we need to enter a date which is one month in future. So uh, let's uh, head back to Tosca. And here I have already scanned this particular module, okay? Uh, so I have recorded this uh, date field, which is the start date. And then I've created a test case where I'm using this particular module, okay? Now, one way is I can directly enter the date here, right? It is a text field, but uh, you know it will not work, right? Maybe it will work today, but tomorrow it won't work because again, it won't be one month in the future. Right? So we need to use something called the date expression in this value field, okay? And the date expression can be found uh, when you start your curly brace, you will find it in the dropdown, okay? And there is something called date, okay? And there's also a date time expression if you want to use that time. Now for this date, uh, it will return you the full current date, okay? Uh, and you can see here, the date and time values can be calculated by using the base date along with deviations, and it can be displayed in a user-defined format. Okay, so it can do all of this. It can calculate the date based on a base date uh, along with some deviations. So you can do some calculations, and then it can also be displayed in a particular format. Okay, so the syntax for this is here. So in date, we need to provide a base date. Okay, it could be any date. And then you need to provide the offset. Now offset is something uh, called the deviation from the base date. So either you can add some days to your base date or you can subtract some days from the base date. Uh, now this uh, offset, it could be in months. It could be in days, it could be in weeks, um, or it could be in several other variations, okay? And also we can uh, define the format, okay? So the date expression format of the test object can be defined here. There's also an example here you can see. So there is the date expression, then there is the base date, which is 23 uh, May, 2016. Then here is the offset which is here we are calculating plus three months, which is uh, it will calculate 
uh, three months in future for this particular date. And then it will also minus one day. Okay, so this is the calculation which it is doing. And then here it is specifying the format, which is mm slash dd slash yyy. Okay, and then the result is this. So we need uh, something similar here. In our scenario, we need to uh, find out the date one month in future. So let's uh, now enter um, our value here, which is one month in future. Okay, it is pretty similar. So we'll start off with the square brackets and then I'm going to close the square brackets. Now you need to make sure that even though you're not mentioning any value, you should always follow the syntax which means there should be always three square brackets, no matter which one you are providing the values or which you are not providing the values, okay? Now, I don't want to enter any particular uh, base date value here because by default, the base date is the current date. And that works for me because I want to calculate based on my current date. Now, if your calculation is based on a particular date, then you can mention the base date as that date, okay? And then the calculation will be done on that base date, okay? So for me, it is the current date and that's why I have not mentioned anything. Now I will do the calculation, which is the offset. So I want plus one month and also I want plus one D, which is one D, okay? And that is because uh, in here, you will see that if I mention just one month in future, it won't satisfy the condition. It should be one month in future plus one day, okay, which is the next day. So I'm going to enter this and then it will be satisfied, right? Also, you can see the format is MM, DD, and YYY. So I need to provide or uh, the date in this particular format, okay? So in the last field, it is for the format and I'm going to now mention mm and then I'm going to mention slash. Okay, and dd and then again slash and then yyy. So this is the format uh, which should be calculated. Okay. Also, we need to end the curly brace here and it should look like this. Now, if I translate this particular value, you will see that uh, the translation was successful and my value is exactly what I want, which is 11-17-2023. Now, the advantage of uh, taking this calculation or picking up a dynamic expression is tomorrow, right? If I execute this, it will again change the date based on the calculation. So every day, the value would be different and it will satisfy the condition. And that's how my test case will never fail, right? So that's the uh, importance of having a dynamic value instead of a static value, okay? So now if I run this in Scratchbook, okay, so it should enter the date and then the date will be validated. So uh, this is how you can use the dynamic date expression, which is available in Tosca for fields where you require some offset or some adjustments to your current date or some particular date. Okay, so some condition needs to be satisfied before you enter some value in that particular field and it is dynamically changing. Okay, so this is where you can make use of the dynamic data expression. And there are lots of different options in the dynamic data expressions in Tosca. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.